am Jen, host of Taste of Memories, and tonight we're out of the kitchen and here at the French Consulate to celebrate the life of a woman who inspired generations of Americans in their kitchen. That woman is Julia Child. So let's go inside and check it out. To celebrate Julia's incredible life, the Council General of France, La Dame de Scoffier, and the American Institute of Wine and Food hosted a wonderful evening filled with foodies and culinary professionals alike. And of course, what Julia Child event wouldn't be complete without food. A thoughtfully planned menu was created by Diane Gordon, who shared with us what her inspirations were for her delicious delights. In addition to savory treats, a tribute cake was created by the one and only Queen of Cakes, Sylvia Weinstock, who paid homage to Julia with her sweet confectionery display of a chef's hat, copper pot and whisk, and Julia Child's mastering the art of French cooking. I also had the opportunity to hear from a few individuals and learn what Julia Child meant to them as well as to many others. Carol Brock, founder of La Dame de Scoffier, an organization which recognizes and supports leading women in the food, beverage, and hospitality professions, tells us why Julia Child was their first recipient of the Great Dame Award. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie Young, president of the Dame de Scoffier in New York, tells us what she admired the most about Julia when working with her on several occasions. What inspired me about her was that she was so, she was such a regular person. You know how it is now, you celebrity chefs and they have bodyguards and they have handlers and they're untouchable and they're up here and they're up not approachable. Julia was approachable. You would walk a room and people would be like, oh my god, there's Julia and she's necklace. As high as the star rose, she remained grounded. And I think that's why so many people around the country fell in love with Julia and they can that one of those people is Drew Jaglum, an AIWF trustee who remembers the first time he met Julia. Yeah, uh, I remember my wife had this conversation with Julia about her gâteau de fromage. Uh, it's one of her recipes that we used to make, which has a caramel cage over the top that was just impossible to make. And uh, Janet said something to Julia about it. She sounded just like Dan Aykroyd doing Julia. Said, oh, oh, oh yes, I have so much trouble with that myself. Alex Perdome, Julia's great nephew and writer of her bio, My Life in France, explains the heart of Julia's personality. The closest person will ever met, you know, both in her professional life and in her personal life. And those that Julia saw television, you know, Julia was the two of us in the room. She was very genuine, very heartfelt, and very enthusiastic. I think it's an important part of her legacy. I also enjoyed speaking with Marcia Palanchi, CEO of Cornerstone Communications, and Ursula Masood, proprietor of Pomenook Vineyards. Both are members of LDNY. What I loved about Julia is, is that she had wonderful dreams. And she was embracing going into the market in France. And oh, you smell, you feel, you taste, and it's like. You could start cooking right there, right? It's in the market. You start savoring, you create your dinner as you walk through the market. And Julia, I, it was just, I loved her. I loved her. And that's why I made it. To toast to her, right? To toast to us. And I like to also when I first started in the business, my boss, who was my mentor, was a very close friend. And when Julie would come from Boston, and I was this little insignificant assistant, <laughs> you were never insignificant. She was so generous in her spirit and her information and sharing ideas. And I would say, well, you know, I'm going to France, where should we go? And she'd get out of the festival and she'd say, well, go here and tell, tell this friend uh, to say hello for me and this is what you should eat in the restaurant. An amazing woman, very generous. And we, very generous. And we all aspire to. to 
model ourselves a little bit around you. Christine Panas, president of the AWF, tells us why Julia became one of the founders of this great organization. Julia Child really wanted Americans to not be afraid of gastronomy. Her, her mission really was to make Americans feel comfortable and not afraid or like, oh, I'm not smart enough for French food. She wanted to bring it to the masses, which is exactly what she did. And to take the fear away. So like, if you don't know how to eat escargot when you first see it, not to be afraid of that, to just dive right in there and go, how do I eat this, you know? And then learn how to make it yourself and tell your friends, look, this is how we eat it. So it's about sharing above all. Because the best part of cooking at home is sitting down and sharing what you made with your family and friends. And she says, I was so lucky to have this experience and to be here and to be able to transmit this to Americans. And of course, she had no idea that she'd become this huge superstar. Um, and she was very humble about it until the end. Uh, but she said to me, you know, when you're cooking, you've got to, you've got to learn your technique, you've got to work really hard, uh, you've got to be willing to take risks, but above all, you've got to have fun. I have such great respect for her tradition. She became a success in the age when many women are starting to just say, what do I want? I mean, she really represents women in her midlife. But what's that on She started. How she succeeded is that she took what she loved and what she could she knew and what she could communicate and she brought it to others. And that's the key to success. What can you bring to others to touch their lives? In the 1960s, back in the United States, she created her cooking television show, The French Chef, which was a huge success that quickly turned her into an icon. Today, she inspires young generations, such as Julie Powell from New York, who decided 10 years ago to make all the 524 recipes of Julia, Julia Child's book in, in 365 days. Her talent and her heritage are still and will always be so vivid and in good hands. And so, as culinary masters of today, along with many others, continue to inspire and change the food revolution here in America, Julia Child will always be remembered for helping us appreciate two simple words. Bon appétit! To learn more, visit LDNY's JC100 Printerist Board to check out photos and stories submitted by Julia's friends and fans.